I'm uh, Sam Ashworth, I'm 24 years old and I'm a property manager for Colliers International. My name's Ben Blackmore, I'm 21 years old and I work at Mrs Ferg. I heard that Thriller and the Chiller was one of the hardest things that anybody's ever done. I heard a couple of the rugby boys last year talking about it once they finished it and they just said it was really tough but really rewarding. There's always a big buzz around Thriller and I want to be part of that. Also sadly last year I lost my dad and I just want to do something that I know that if he was here he'd be proud of me for doing. I've never really done this training before. It was completely different to any other training that I've done. It's probably some of the hardest things I've ever done. I don't think I've ever been this fit in my life and I'm absolutely loving it. It's just a sense of I have to get up, I have to do this, I've committed to this. Ben's looking really good at the moment, I mean. He's got a couple of inches on me, so he's able to get me anytime, anywhere, so I've really got to make that opportunity count when I have the chance. I feel confident with my chances against him. That he's a good, honest fighter though, no, I haven't had any cheap shots off of him or anything yet. Ben, let's give everything we can in the ring. Let's leave everything there and give everybody a really good show on the night and show them why we've worked really hard. Sam, I'll see you in the ring. Let's put on a good show. And I'll see you at the bar for a beer afterwards. Introducing to you, fighting out of the red corner tonight, and sponsored by Mrs. Ferg. It has been Wellard Blackmore. Watch us wreck the mic. Watch us wreck the mic. Watch us wreck the mic. Psych. Presenting Colliers International, fighting out of the blue corner, they call him Smashy. He's ready to do some Smashy, he is Sam Ashworth.
10 seconds remaining in this round. End of round one, brought to you by Sergio's Menswear. The only place to go for business and formal wear, Sergio's. Thank you to Des Mills and Paul Jones. And Ashworth and Blue. One minute remaining in this round. We're halfway through the fight. The Kiwi in blue, the Englishman in red. Ten seconds remaining. End of round two. One minute remaining, Queenstown, one minute. Kiwi Sam versus Englishman Ben. seconds, Queenstown, both men are tired, let's help them out, let's bring them home. Come on, Sammy. Last chance to impress the judges, 10 seconds. A lot of fights, both men almost at a standstill. Ring Commissioner Pat Leonard just signing off the scorecard, moments away from a judge's decision. Here we go. In association with Sergio's, Judge One, 
Scores the bout, 30-27. Judge two scores the bout 29 28. Judge three scores the bout 30 to 27. This is a split decision, folks. Winner fighting out of the red corner. Ben Willa Blackmore. Ben, you fought for your late father tonight. How do you feel now? Feel better. I mean, you'd be proud. Did you leave everything out here on the ring? Yeah, there's fucking, there's nothing else I can give there. But, yeah, but. Tell us a bit about your dad. Uh, well, he's pleased to back at home. And he was diagnosed about four or five years ago with uh, blood cancer. Um, and after long bouts of chemo, the stem cell therapy, unfortunately, it just he didn't make it. So. Ladies and gentlemen, do he do, did he do his dad proud tonight? Ben Wallard Blackmore! Well, Sam, so close. I'll just read the scorecard for you. So Judge 1 scored the bout 30-27 in favour of Red. Judge 2 scored the bout 29-28 in favour of you. Judge 3 scored a 30-27 in favour of Red. Did you know it was that close? No, I didn't know it was going to be that close. Uh, full credit to Ben, he really worked me. I don't think I've ever worked that hard ever since this, this uh, boot camp started. Full credit, mate, you deserve that one. Mate, he, he's eight centimetres taller, giving away the height and reach. Not only were you punching above your weight, but you're punching above your eyes the whole fight. <laughs> well, I've, I've had to get used to that, having uh, two uh, bigger brothers than me, so uh, thanks, guys. Right over here. Well, have you achieved what you wanted to achieve? 16 weeks training, you've lost the weight, you've had to give up the drink, getting up early in the morning, just the sacrifices. Tell us a bit about those sacrifices. Oh yeah, without a doubt. The training was one thing, but the sacrifices were another. I mean, getting up at 5.30, no matter how many times you do it, you're never going to get used to that. Also, uh, I'm really looking forward to having a beer. Giving up 15 weeks of drinking has been pretty hard work, but um, yeah, really looking forward to that. What do you reckon, Qu Queenstown? Do you think he's deserved a drink? 15 weeks? All right, very quickly, who would you like to thank? Oh, where to begin? First off, I'll uh, thank all my mates who have uh, put up with me for the last 15 weeks. I know a few of you are here, so um, thank you very much for coming down. Um, also, my team at Colliers, um, you guys have been, I can't describe how you guys have been, you guys have been awesome. You just haven't put up with me, you, you just haven't just put up with me, you guys have sponsored me. And uh, you've given me the encouragement to keep going and going, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. Last but certainly not least is my family. Thank you so much for coming down from Christchurch. I love you all. I'm really, give a beer at the table for me, eh? Awesome, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Ashworth.